Matt Riley here. Whilst there, we have got the Orioles. Hello. 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 So, your new album, Tableau, is perhaps not... It's more experimental, uh, is it not, than, say, Disco Volador. Uh, was, was that a kind of uh, an intentional move on your part? Did you sit down and, and think about the album and decide it was going to go in that direction? Um, in a way, yes. What we did do was sit down and think about what sort of process we was going to undertake to record this one in contrast to the first two. Um, I play most of it live, not really go into the studio with many demos and just see what unravelled whilst we was in a specific studio space. That's a very brave thing to do, isn't it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was quite an uphill battle getting people on our side, but thankfully um, Damien trusted us a lot and kind of could communicate to other people what we, what, what we were trying to achieve. So I think it worked out, though. Yeah, I definitely. And and the thing is that you can't keep treading water because it's, I mean there's nothing worse with uh, with a band than the band themselves being not exactly bored, but you know wanting to reach out and and, and do other mm. things and then being held back and kind yeah. of like yeah, taking the reins off. Yeah, I think that's the com yeah, the complete opposite with us. We was really excited exploring these options and it was a really exciting time recording the whole thing because we didn't know uh how it was going to turn out. Yeah, sure. And so, I mean, talking about experimental and being brave, you played the Stella Hall recently with an eight-piece orchestra. Yeah, we did. Um, that was a beautiful time on the album release show. Um, it was really special to hear it live. So, I mean, when bands get to the stage where they've got an orchestra behind them, however big, that's usually a, a much further down the line than perhaps the Orioles are at this point in time. Yeah. So whose idea was it and how did you manage to pull it off? Um, it was actually um, Joel, who we co-produced the record with. I think it was his idea initially. It was yeah. a bit of a pipe dream for us. but I'm sure he, Jeff facilitated yeah. a lot with that. Jeff. Um, but yeah, I think what we wanted to do with that gig in particular was it was kind of a, a bit of a statement about... Uh, just overall taking things more seriously. It was kind of, we saw it as like a bit of more of an exhibition of what we're capable of with this new album. Right, OK. And it means we're talking about Disco Volador there, but La Vita Holistica, yeah. that, was a, that was a brave move as well. <laughs> so, I mean, you are grabbing the bull by the horns. You're not taking the easy route, are you? Uh, nah, but... Uh, just like New talking. Directions met... Uh, create friction so yeah I feel like having so much fun sort of experimenting with ourselves and kind of along the way seeing what we can do seeing how we can like morph and shape our tunes into like new things each time and yeah I think Levita was a lot of like gave us a lot of the confidence to do this record ourselves produce it ourselves and mm. yeah for those who don't know, it was a film soundtrack, wasn't it? So, um, yeah, and again, you know, if you look at doing a film soundtrack and having an orchestra, you, you're going at great paces here, you'd have to say. And so you are, I know you're going to South by Southwest next year. Yeah, hopefully we'll uh, make it all the way. <laughs> yeah, because the last time you were in, the, uh, the, in America, because I, I was talking to Damien about this, so you were in New York at the time and you had a, a West Coast jaunt ahead of you. Yeah. And then the phone started pinging. What was it pinging about? Tell us. Uh well, we had two days of rehearsal in New York and every time we'd get back ahead of this tour it was worse and worse news about the borders shutting due to uh, COVID-19. Right. So I think on the second day Trump said he's not letting anyone in. So we booked <laughs> flights then, which was the day before our first uh, gig in New York. Right, OK. So, well, it will happen this time. I'm sure all will be well. <laughs> yeah. And so, are you, apart from that, you are playing over here. I've got some dates uh, lined up in front of me here. So, the 22nd of January, March, you play MASH in Cambridge, uh, the 23rd, Concord 2 in Brighton, 27th, The Loft in Southampton, 28th, Club E4 Bach in Cardiff, the 31st, The Foundry in Sheffield, on to April, the 1st, The Mill in Birmingham, the 2nd, Sugar Mill, Stoke-on-Trent, the 4th, Rescue Rooms in Nottingham, and the 8th Glasgow, the Garage. Um, they're all the dates I've got in front of me anyway. Um, so you're going to do two tunes for us now with a, with a very little gap in between both. So what are you going to do and in what order? Uh, so first we're going to play Airtight. And then we've got the instrument. Brilliant. 